Although this is one of the last slides in my presentation, this was the image that started it all for me. This rendering technique of the Mandelbrot set was taught to me by a fellow computer scientist from San Francisco, Melinda Green. It was a fateful day in 1993 that I ran into Green in a news group called SCI.Fractals. The subject line read, God in the Mandelbrot set, which of course piqued my curiosity since this was the whole reason I was on this journey in the first place, to find evidence for God in the Mandelbrot set. So I immediately posted a response and I was sent my very first Buddha brought image, which was titled Ganesh, named after the Hindu god Ganesh, the remover of obstacles. And the rest, as they say, is history, or her story, as the case may be. Wikipedia credits Melinda Green with the discovery of this algorithm. The name Buddha brought was coined later by Laurie Gardy. That's me. And is now the common name used for this mental rock rendering technique. I think this image speaks for itself. I can't say exactly why it takes on the shape that it takes. People ask me, why does it look like that? Can it make any other shapes? Although there are slight variations to this algorithm that enhance different features of the Buddha broad set, it always looks pretty much like this figure. It always takes on this shape. The details differ depending on the initial conditions of the algorithm, but this basic shape, looking very much like a seated Buddha or Hindu figure, always <coughs> appears. Unlike the bubble universe image, which is generated using the points on the inside of the mental broad set, this image is generated using only the outside points. When you generate a histogram of all the fractal dynamic fields from the points on the outside of the Mandelbrot set, this is what you get. Put simply, the Buddhabrot images emerge from complex plane, my space-time continuum, by iterating the function z equals z squared plus c. In fact, all of the fractal images that I showed you today, except for the Lorenz attractor, emerge from the same equation, which is remarkable given the simplicity of the equation and the ease with which it takes to generate them. Uh, and that's about it for part two. I also wanted to point out that I found pi in the Mandelbrot set. When I generate those Buddhabrot images, I often find these perfect little circles embedded into the image. And so that ties in together with uh, my friend Ellie Arroway from the Story Contact, who found uh, God in the digits of pi. I found pi in the Mandelbrot set. So um, there you have it.